5G is really the elephant in the living room that no one is paying attention to. So it's being promoted as something that's very, very good. It's about the Internet of Things. And what exactly is the Internet of Things? It's about everything talking to everything else. Now, broadband experience everywhere, anytime, smart vehicles, smart transport, smart infrastructure. You know, it uses a millimeter wave, which can be extremely dangerous to all living things and not just people. It's about mass surveillance and about weaponizing the airwaves. And the studies on it are amazing. There's all sorts of studies, but they're not interested in the studies. That's the thing. This is being rolled out without any studies. They're doing it basically because there's a lot of money involved in rolling it out. Hundreds of billions of microchips connected in products from pill bottles to plant waterers. We must reject the notion that the 5G future will be the sole provenance of urban areas. The 5G revolution will touch all corners of our country. America's local governments will play an important role in determining how we fulfill this national priority. If something can be connected, it will be connected. Now, the Internet of Things is far more concerning than people might think at first glance because it isn't just your fridge and your smart toaster and your smart television and your smartphone. It's also your computer, your microphone, your camera on your computer. It's also the surveillance system that we are all installing in our homes by getting these new computer systems. Something else the 5G grid can do is it can see through walls, it can see through houses, it can see what you're carrying along the street, it can see if you're carrying money, it may be able to tell if you're carrying a weapon. And if you are carrying a weapon, it can disable you with a millimeter wave or it can even perhaps send a signal to a drone and have you targeted from the air. It's also possible to take control of vehicles with computers in them. It's an all-encompassing system. And this is not just being used for communication. This is being used for surveillance and control. What this whole system is leading towards is complete digital control of everybody and a merging of human beings with AI. So they're virtually putting a fence around the entire earth, like a space fence around the entire earth, which is going to be active and involved in the 5G network. And it's about integrating it all together, the integration of satellites and 5G networks. This 5G grid is being rolled out and this whole machine society is coming online. And if people don't pay attention, if people continue to use their credit cards, if they continue to use their smartphones, in another five to ten years from now, when all their cash is digitized, all their movements are tracked, all their thoughts are monitored, and everything they do is under surveillance, people are going to look up from their research and go, hang on a minute, how did I end up in this high-tech prison? And at that point, what can anyone do? What the global elite have figured out, your house is a geographic feature on the face of the planet. But when you go out of your house and you go to a doctor, you go to a store, you go to, you know, whatever, they lose track of you because your house is stationary, but you're moving. Well, the new theory in social engineering is we have to also set a geographic point, if you will, on all the moving objects in society. Cars move, people move drones move other things move they want to track those moving things as points of geography and that requires connectivity to do that mobile connectivity not fixed connectivity mobile connectivity so the new 5g standard is going to provide people in cities for instance on their cell phones and you know other things that they carry with at least 100 megabit per second connection. Now, you probably don't even get that at your home right now with your cable. That's so fast, you just can't hardly imagine how fast it is. That means everything's connected in real time. Real time. 
5G is going to allow for instantaneous survey of the entire landscape. Geospatial intelligence is the driving technocrat mentality behind 5G and behind connecting the world, that is the internet of everything together. That is the driving impetus behind this. And you can see how science is going to put this dragnet around the human race. I think the, the most appropriate end state that we could name it would be scientific dictatorship.